What is up, Bull Nation, and welcome to another Elden Ring video, guys. Today, I'm going to present to you guys one of the best talismans currently available in the game, and that is the Taker's Cameo. Basically, what this talisman is going to do, it's going to allow you to restore your health upon defeating enemies. Now, this particular talisman paired with the right build, like the build I'm going to show you guys, the Never Die build, or Always Stay Alive build, you're going to need this talisman in order to get that build going. So, I will have that build up in the channel very soon, so make sure you guys start collecting the stuff as I'm mentioning here. So, this particular one is really important, and it's part of a quest line that you kind of have to start, but you don't have to complete. So today I'm going to tell you guys exactly where you need to go, what you need to do, in order to get this done. So if you enjoy what we're doing in the channel, hit that like like your mama taught you right, boys. And without further ado, let's talk about where you're going to go to get this talisman. So in order for you guys to get this talisman, you're going to go to this region right here, which is pretty far into the game. Uh, I'm pretty sure like maybe 40-50% of the game you probably have access to this area. The biggest problem would probably get getting through the lift, but theoretically you could go through the side and still go to this area. But what you want to go is you want to go to this location called the Volcano Manor. Now, once you head to the Volcano Manor, there's going to be an NPC we're going to need to talk to and start the quest line. And then I'm going to take you through the whole steps until you actually get the Taker's Camel. So let's go ahead and jump right into it. All right, so guys, once you guys transferred into the area, what you need to do is you're going to approach this NPC and you're going to talk to her. Now, she has a very extensive dialogue, so just make sure you get through the complete dialogue because she does talk quite a lot. But basically what you're trying to do here is continue having her talk and eventually she'll get to a point where she keeps talking and then she's going to give you a key. Now this particular key guys is going to be opening a room and there is a kind of like a secret area I would say because you kind of have to go through a certain amount of doors to actually be able to get it. Now you could get straight to the door where I'm going to show you guys or you could open up the other doors to see exactly what's going on. So basically after you finish talking to her go turn around and make a left and usually the doors that are going to be the ones that are going to be working are going to be the doors that are going to be to your right hand side. Now, the thing with this, guys, is you got to keep in mind that there are multiple doors for you to open. So I had to I struggled trying to find out exactly which door it was because I went and opened one door at a time. But I think it's the third door to your left. So you want to make sure you go to that one. So it's not that one. And then I try to check this one. This one did open up. So I was like, all right, I think this is the right one. And then after that, I was like, nope, there's no one in this room. So we were like, okay, well, let's try that again. And basically the door, the door you want to go to is the third door. Okay, that's the one that you want to go to. Not the one across, but the actual third door to the right-hand side. That's going to be the one that's going to be leading you guys to the actual room. Now, when you get to this room, there's going to be two NPCs. You're going to talk to this one first, and she's going to tell you her story. After you get done talking to her, because she does have an extensive dialogue, you're going to go talk to the guy sitting on the chair. He will have an extensive dialogue, but he will tell you, you know, there is something that we're hunting down and we need to bring some sort of end to this. Now, after you finish talking to him, if you notice when you walked into the room, there's going to be two little icons that are found in the table. Make sure you pick up both of those icons in the table. There's a letter and there's another item. After you pick those up, he's gonna, you're going to go to your map. And you're going to see in your map, there's going to be this red dot in this location that I'm showing you here. Basically, what you want to do, guys, is you want to make sure you head your way to this particular red dot. And in that red dot, there is going to be a secret enemy that gets triggered by this particular quest line. So you're going to want to make sure you head over to this particular area and engage that little red dot. It's basically pretty simple. All you got to do is go there. Now, for this particular ad that we're going to be fighting in this area... There's not really too much mechanics. It's just, I mean, per, if you guys have seen my one-shot build, I pretty much, that, that that pretty much takes care of them. Now, I don't know what type of builds you guys are rocking, but I would like to know in the comment section down below if you guys are rocking any build, or, or do you not have a specific build? Let me know in the comment section down below. But once you get to this particular area, guys, you're going to want to make sure you get down. There's going to be a little red flame in the ground, and you're going to activate that little red flame, and then once that little red flame is activated, it's going to ask you to summon one of the knights. Now, when you summon this knight, he's going to come straight at you. This one doesn't, like, kind of bummy rush you. He just kind of is very long distance. So you're going to see how I melt him. Oh, my. look at this, guys. This, this is not even no joke. Look, look, look. Look at this, guys, and then look at his health. It's going to be crazy. Look, I hit him with the comet. Once I hit him, right, because I was trying to dodge him. I was trying to set this up, and I didn't think he was going to come that fast at me. But once I lined this up, look at this. That guy, he, I, I was getting annoyed by that attack, though. That attack was annoying the heck out of me. I was like, bro... Stop pulling me in, fam. And then look, rip the dream. It's over. Good night. Sleep 12. 
I mean, he tried. He tried, but he failed. Now, the cool thing about this one is you actually get a raw, really good stuff. You get the runes. You get that. Plus, you get a really nice piece of armor from this. So this quest line is actually very rewarding because you're going to get a lot. So you get a complete armor set called the Sealed Helm or the Sealed Armor Set. And you get this complete armor set just by defeating this one guy. So it's pretty good, right? Then after that, guys, after you get completed with this one, what you guys want to do is travel back to the volcano. And then we're going to go ahead and engage and talk to her once again. All right, so we're back to the volcano now. Once back into the volcano, guys, we're going to go and talk to her one more time. But this time around, she's going to be a little bit tricky. And it's not going to be very extensive dialogue. She's going to talk to us for a little bit. But what we want to do here is we want to be smart because she's going to tell us to come back and talk to her. This time around, after we finish talking to her, I kind of was like, you know, let me make sure I got the dialogue correctly. But after we finish talking to her, you're going to want to make sure you dial her twice so she could give you the magma shot. Because a lot of people just talk to her once. And she doesn't give them the magnet shot, so just want to give you guys a FYI. Make sure you could, you re-trigger the dialogue more than once to be able to get that magma shot. So once you have that ready to go, you're going to go into the rest area, and you're going to want to make sure you rest, uh, you know, and come back in the morning. So pass the time and come back in the morning. And once you come back into the morning time, you're then going to go ahead and be able to not talk to her, but go straight to the door where you found the letters on the table, and you are going to go and talk to the NPC again. And there's also going to be a letter in the table as well. So pick up the letter, talk to the NPC. He's going to give you a little bit of dialogue. He's going to allow you to buy a couple lashes of war. But once you're done talking to him, just hit leave. And then you are going to go ahead and pull up your map one more time. This time that you pull up your map, there's going to be another red little icon located right here. Kind of very close to the area where we're at. As you guys see right there, the little red dots right there. And we have to kill the person in the Volcano Manor. Now, for this particular guy, he does have a bow, so you got to make sure you play him very closely. Now, I'm still rocking my one-shot build, guys, which, I mean, has been amazing. I am working on a new build, which I'm pretty sure you guys saw the image at the beginning of the video, which is the reason why I'm getting all these items, because that build is going to be extremely amazing for you guys, man. You guys are going to love it. So we're going to travel, fast travel to this location right here, and kind of, I always want to show you guys the pathway to get to this stuff. Because, you know, I know a lot of people just tell you, go here, go there. And then sometimes you're lost. You're like, where the heck am I going? So I did want to show you guys exactly what we're going to be doing to actually get to that specific area. So this is where we spawned. And basically what you want to do, guys, is you want to go across the bridge. And then once you go across the bridge, guys, you want to make sure you make a quick right. Now, when you make the right on here, you're going to want to make sure you keep going. And there's going to be a couple of little, like I would say little ledges that you could jump on top of and the key here is just following the trail that makes you jump with your horse and makes you jump high you pretty much are going to do that and drop down and just look for the other one that has the same thing to your right hand side and that's going to let you know exactly where you're at so it's easy right there there's a little thing that lets you lift up make a quick right we're going to go here jump on down and then we could jump down one more platform and then we have to jump down one more time and we're going to reach to the area that we really need to go. At first I thought it was across the uh, the thing and I was like, oh crap, it's across the thing. But I was like, no, it's actually down there. I saw it. So I jumped down here and then we just go ahead and once again activate it. And once activated, we will get a boss to spawn or like, I would say a mini boss to spawn. And this boss is actually pretty cool because he does give you a bow. So he gives you some really cool stuff. So once again, this guy, I try to one shot him as well. And same thing happened. Right? You know, we, we automatically decimated him. He had no chance. He was gone. Oof. Dead. So, that one's cool. I like the fact that we get rune arts. Plus, we also get some really good stuff. We get some nice bows. And we also get some nice archways, which are awesome. So, just this quest line alone is giving us a ton, a ton of materials. Plus, we also get the veil, which is actually pretty good. And we get those relics. So, after this is done... We then have to go back again, guys, to the volcano. Yes, we got to go back again to the volcano. And once we're in the volcano manor, guess what, guys? We have to go talk to her again. Yes, because, I mean, she just likes talking to us for some apparent reason. She just doesn't can't get enough of us. So we're going to go back and talk to her once again. And this time that we actually talk to her, she's going to tell us that, Oh, man, you did a wonderful job. You, you, or you sir, are amazing. How, how do you do it? I don't know. And she's going to give us the, this blade, which is pretty cool. But that is not exactly what we're after. We really don't care too much about the armor. What we really, really, really care about, of course, is the talisman. So we're going to head back to the room. And then once we head back to the room, we're going to go ahead and find yet another letter on the table. So pick up the letter on the table. And once we pick up the letter, we don't have to talk to him. 
but we have to locate the red dot. This time the red dot is going to be a little bit further out from the areas we were in, so more advanced into the game, and you're going to go and head to this location. Now, out of all the bosses, this is the one that's a little bit more difficult to kill, but I got to tell you, it's the one that actually drops the coolest gear in the game. I mean, it is amazing. It looks really, really dope. So, you're going to head to this location right here. Once you're in this location, we're going to go ahead and activate the ad one more time. And then we should be good to go. So you once again hit yes. Now, like I said, this is the one that's a little bit more tougher than the other ones. The other ones seem to be a little bit, you know, I could just one shot him. This one actually, he moved quite a lot. So my one shot wasn't going to be so effective. So what I did is I just want to make sure I started casting my spells. And I just hit him with the pebble a little bit. And then I used my sword just to tap in. Now, this sword is actually pretty good OP. It's the River of Blood. I actually have a video on where you actually pick this one up. So if you guys definitely want to check that out, you're more than welcome to. And trust me, you guys are going to want to pick it up, especially for the new build I'm working on. That build is going to be amazing, guys. So this guy likes to get his health back, as you see, he recovers his health. But what we did here is we were like, okay, you know what? Those, those, that, that weapon that he's using, oh my goodness, it is so good. So right here, we used our weapon here, and we used it one more time. I think we, we hit him with the sword one more time. Yeah, so we hit him with that nice little slash. And then it was just a matter of get, getting him right here, getting him aggroed, and he was pretty much dead. Now, after we kill him, he just dropped a really good amount of stuff. He drops, not only does he drop the weapon he's using, but he also drops his armor. Now, his armor is sexy. It is so good looking. It's just amazing, guys. So, after you guys kill him, we're then going to go ahead and go back. So, as you see right there, man, we get the blades, we get the whip, plus we get the hollows, hollows outfit, which to me is one of the best looking outfits currently right now in the game. It looks aesthetically amazing so once we're done you know killing him we're gonna go back and travel back to volcano the volcano manor and once we get to the volcano manor guys we are then gonna go and talk to her one more time now this time she's gonna have a little bit of an extensive dialogue but this is when she's actually gonna be giving us the talisman that we're gonna need in order to be able to get this amazing build that we're putting together so there you go. That's how you do it. That's how you collect the talisman, the Taker's Camel. And once again, this camel is really important because it restores your HP every time you defeat an enemy. So every time you kill someone, you will be getting your health back, which makes it really powerful and really potent. And there you guys have it. That is how you get the Taker's Camel. I hope you guys are enjoying our content here on the channel. If you are, do me a huge favor, guys. Drop a comment. Drop a like like your mama taught you right. And don't forget to subscribe to turn on all those notifications so you guys won't miss when our videos go live. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll catch you guys on the next video. Yes. As it should be. Now, close your eyes for a moment. I will transport you to the Lord's Chamber.